Hey everyone. So in today's video, I'll be looking at Spirit Swap's new leverage trading product, Ape Mode. Ape Mode is a first of its kind on Phantom, whereby one click leverage trading can be utilized to long positions across various tokens on the Phantom network. Upon release, users will be able to long positions using Spell, ICE, Tarot, LQDR, Phantom, and Spirit. This process is enabled through Spirit Swap, opening cashy marketplaces for the various assets that can be leveraged. This is done by allowing users to deposit MIM into these cashy marketplaces, where people who lend to the cashy marketplace earn interest off people borrowing said MIM in order to open the long positions that Ape Mode offers. So now that you have a basic understanding of the backend mechanics, let's dive into a quick tutorial on how to open a position. First, you click on the Ape Mode tab within Swap section of Spirit Swap. Once in the Ape Mode tab, you'll see two main points of interaction in the Ape Mode product. Pay, this is the amount you'll be adding as collateral to your position. If you add 10 Spirit, this is what can be liquidated if the collateral ratio falls out of its debt service zone. The leverage bar, this is the amount of leverage you'll be applying to your collateral position. For example, if I long Spirit with 10 Spirit as collateral at two times leverage, I will effectively be trading with double the amount of Spirit that I actually have. As such, the long position will be 20 Spirit. Now, before we open this position, it's important to make note of the other guides offered when opening a position. At the bottom of the Trade tab, we have five main indicators. Leverage position size, displays your position's leverage, in this case, two times spirit. Uh, liquidation price, now this is the most important guide to take note of. If the price of spirit falls below this number, your position will be flagged for liquidation and subsequently liquidated by the liquidator bots. This means you lose the 10 spirit you put up as collateral when entering the trade. MIM left to borrow indicates how much MIM is available in the cashy market pool in order to facilitate leverage trading. If this pool runs dry, just like on Abracadabra, then leverage trading won't be available until pools are replenished. Remember, these pools can be replenished at any time by any community member by depositing MIM into the cashy marketplace for a passive return from fees generated by people using Ape Mode. If you want to deposit MIM into this marketplace to lend to users who wish to leverage, you can do so by clicking on the Deposit to MIM Vault tab. And price. This represents the cost of the token at the time you enter the position. Right, now the formalities are out of the way. Let's dive into a leverage trade using Ape Mode. For this tutorial, we'll be longing Spirit using 10 Spirit as collateral. After adjusting leverage to two times, we can now see the position size is 20 Spirit. Before opening the position, it's important to take note of the liquidation price. You will want to monitor this closely to ensure your collateral is not lost. Approve the transaction in MetaMask. Click Ape. Then click the other pop-up that says Accept Long Order. Once the position is open, you will be able to see the status of the position in the Your Positions tab at the bottom of the screen. This displays your liquidation price, collateral value, and the interest rate on the loan that was used to open the position in the first place. To close the position, you simply have to click on the close tab, accept the MetaMask transaction, and the position will close, resulting in a profit or loss, depending on the price of the market at the time. Now, it is really that easy to use Spirit Swap's new Ape Mode to leverage trade your favorite assets. Just because it is easy doesn't mean you should blindly follow this tutorial and jump in. As always, this isn't financial advice, and I'd expect you to do your own research before you ape in. Thanks for tuning in and enjoy using Spirit Swap. Well.